I'm Richard Taylor and I'm here at Huntingdon Civic Centre where in about 25 minutes there's to be a full council of Huntingdonshire District Council. I've come because the Police and Crime Commissioner for Cambridgeshire is going to spend around an hour or so this evening leading a debate and answering questions from councillors. I'm interested in finding out a little bit more about some of the things that he's doing. I'm going to try and film this evening's meeting because uh, Minister Eric Pickles has uh, written to me by Twitter today and he says that there's no need for the uh, three days advance notice um, and permission of the chair which uh, Huntington District Council requires according to its constitution. Uh, he seems to think that his guidance has um, overridden that. Uh, I think it would be interesting to, to show him what actually happens in practice if I uh, try and film a council meeting. I've arrived about 25 minutes early and I tend to go and find a council officer if I can in there uh, and let him know that um, I'd like to film the meeting and, and ask, as Eric Pickles advises, what facilities are available to citizen journalists. The kind of facilities that are useful are things like Wi-Fi, internet, a PowerPoint um, to charge the camera and uh, my, my phone and maybe laptop and also access to toilets, um, which, which is necessary if uh, meetings drag on for many hours. Um, so I think the question that I'd like to ask is what facilities have you got for um, citizen journalists? Yes, yeah, excuse me, um, have you got permission? Where's that come from? Are you just coming in? Oh, it's just me, just as an individual, yes. yes. Well, I don't know whether you'll be allowed to use that. Well, um, the reason I phrased the question as I just did, what facilities do you have for citizen journalists, is that that's a question which um, Eric Pickles suggests that people ask when they turn up at council meetings. And the reason I decided to film this evening is to try it. I'm aware of your constitution and your requirement for three days' notice and permission of the chair. Um, but Eric Pickles tweeted me this morning and he said there's no need for such notice and I should be okay to just um, come along and, uh, and, and film the meeting. Consulting my um, elders, and um, and by elders do you mean officers? Or? Yes, I do. Okay. The, um, the but surely the, the decision will be yours. Won't well, it? I have to talk to legally, so don't tell me what to do. Thank you. No, I was just, just, no, I was just, just, right. just yes. clarifying what you meant by your elders. Yes. Well. That's a phrase I use. Thank you very much. But, um, don't tell me what um, you're doing. Thing, would it be possible for you to tell me where the police commissioner will be sitting? No, I won't. Is that because you, it's being awkward? Or? No, it's being awkward. You don't know yet? No. Thank you. You'll wait, you'll wait on my other seat. Sorry, would you disconnect it all, please? Uh, no, I'm going to wait for the chairman who's told me that she will make the decision. So I'm going to wait for the decision of the chairman. Our current constitution doesn't allow, well, allows for it only if the chair gives permission. I'm, I'm aware of the constitution, yeah, yeah. Um, the three days notice. Yeah. However, um, I know what you're going to say, but that's only just recently come in. It's on one of our agendas to amend the constitution in July, but that hasn't happened yet. So we haven't amended our constitution, so we're, we're not familiar. Well, absolutely, because you're the one who's trying to stop me from... So what I think would be the sensible way forward is if I wait for the chairman to, yes. to, to give the ruling, okay. and then, of course, I will comply with the ruling. Thank you very much. Um, Okay. As you've already been spoken to, to suggest that currently our constitution requires you to get. Yeah, I'm, I'm absolutely aware of that, and, um, I, and I know Mr. Pickles. I did. I attention to him, and this morning he wrote me a tweet, and he said that I don't need such permission. So, can I just ask who you are? I, I'm Colin Meadowcroft, head of legal and democratic services. We have raised the issue with our members. There's going to be an item on the next. Um, uh, well, the relevant committee um, to deal with it. I, but in our constitution, as it is now, I'm afraid Mr. Pickles can't just override that. I, well, I, I agree with you, actually. I, I, I think that he, he needs to either 
make a new law, or uh, his current situation of giving guidance isn't sufficient. So I would like to be able to show him what happens if I come to this meeting and try and film it. So I'm particularly interested in the police crime commissioner. I want to find out about his alert system, his new technology. But you I can want... listen to that. Um, but the, the problem is that I don't know what I can't. Is I can't really take action on it. I can't put that to the commissioner again. I can't put it to my local councillors, to my MPs, as easily as I can. If I've got the footage to back up what I'm saying. Well, you can. I'm sure he would not doubt if you accurately record in your in the notes or whatever. I mean, we're not trying to be awkward here. As I said, we are going to look at Mr. Pickle's proposal. And as I said, I've done it. I can show you, demonstrate the email I've sent around about it because it only came out earlier this week. Um, and, uh, but, and we're going to take it through our, our normal channels. But as I said, under under the current sort of proposals, I'm afraid you haven't got the necessary consent in advance. So we're going to have to ask you not to do it. Um, and uh, if you're not, I'm afraid we presumably have to call the police. And we don't want to do that. That's silly. Well, I, well I'll, I'll wait and see what happens. I've already said to the chairman of the meeting that um, I'll, I'll, I'll wait and see what her ruling is. Obviously, if she decides it. Well, well I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm is, informally but, giving you her ruling. Well, I, I want to hear it from, from her, of course. And if, and, and if her ruling is that filming is disruptive, um, then obviously she's entitled well, to... Well, well it's not necessarily disruptive. Well, that, 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 it, it doesn't occur. Well, will you be advising her that, that she can throw out members of the public who are not disruptive? Oh, no, 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 no. No, well, in that case, we'll have to but, wait until but, she rules we're, we're, we're not asking you... We're not, I'm not even asking you to leave. I'm asking you not to record. Well... This will be doing. Well, okay, it's very easy. That's one of the reasons I came here. I was aware of your constitution. I was advised by Mr. Pickles that um, that, that was no longer relevant. That he's given his guidance, and I'm here to see what happens tonight, and to put that before Mr. Pickles and uh, other elected representatives, and see, see what happens. Very well. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Well, I look forward to your ruling from the chair. Do you want me to say it when I'm in the chair? Well, I'll say it first thing then. You're not in the chair, sorry. Well, I'm not in the chair at the moment. I'm not standing at the I'm the chairman, but I'm yeah. not over there. If you're not going to accept it from here, this decision will be... Well, the, the meeting's not underway yet. No, but I'm telling you, that's the decision, my decision. You're not going to be allowed to film and you're not going to be allowed to speak. Because you haven't gone through the proper process under our constitution. Well, as I said, I look forward to, to your ruling, and obviously if, I, if you deem me to be disruptive to the meeting, I will, of course. Well, you will not be disruptive if you will not be speaking. Well, in which case, there will be no problem then, will there? If I'm not disruptive, then as I understand it, you have no grounds on which to reject a member of the public, so I will be able to observe the meeting. If you have not been you have to follow the rules that we have in our constitution, and that's all that we're telling you. So why are you just being awkward? Please dismantle your camera and um, you can sit in on the meeting and listen to it. Then please dismantle your camera. Yes, do you want to be, I'm not quite clear on what you're requesting. I Sorry. want you to dismantle your camera. Because you're not allowed to record without the consent. Um, and having gone through the proper process, and you haven't done that. It's a perfectly reasonable request. But I, well, the meeting hasn't started yet, so I'm well, well, quite we're happy to see, to see what happens when, what happens when, when the meeting starts. Well, it's, got, it's not going to have any do with it. It's down to the chair. Yes, yeah, so I'm very interested to see what the chair says when the chair is, is in the chair. I'm going to ask you to so, go, mate. Just wait your camera now. You right. Please. Well, my response to that is I would like to see the ruling from the chair. The ruling from the chair. Well, it's, it's very different, I think, to have an individual come and tell no, me personally that, 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 that a ruling from the chair yeah. in and front of the council. Yeah. 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 With Councillor Peter Reeve, uh, who called, um, the chair has just um, told me that she's going to go and call the police and the meeting is not going to start because I'm here um, and I want to, to film the meeting. And you just call it ridiculous. It is ridiculous. Absolutely. It's, it's called public office for a reason. Mm. Um, this council should be fully accountable and um, certainly I would, have, I would be expecting the chairman to put it to the meeting yes, well, and exactly for the councillors what I just asked to be, so, 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 I think, personally would be suggesting we allow it to be So, so to my position is that I would like to wait here until there's a ruling from the chair sitting in a place in front of the full council is, is reasonable. Absolutely. Thank you very much. Um, members, um, we have a gentleman, Mr Taylor.
as you can see, sitting in, in, in the back of the um, civic suite, who wants to film the evening um, and speak. He's shaking his head, no speak. Are you quite clear on that, Mr. Taylor? No speaking. Um, if you want to film the proceedings, um, you will be allowed to do so, but you must not film members of the public. Do you understand that, sir? Do you understand that? Well, if you're asking me to, to speak back, uh, yes, but I would like to um, film the Police and Crime Commissioner, Graham Bright. Yeah, well, this is members of the public just sitting on the same row as you. Okay, That's thank you. Members of the public. Yep. Thank you. Um, so, members, please be aware that there's uh, Mr. Taylor is in, in, in the back on the back seat. Thank you.